Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So I wanted to make this video to sort of shed light on this situation because there's been a lot of questions, a lot of buzz from different people asking me, you know, what's been going on, this and that. So rather than just making a post trying to explain everything, I figured making a video is the best way to sort of bring this to everyone's attention. So for those of you that don't know, as the title suggests, yes, my account was in fact hacked recently. And a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what's been going on? Are you okay? Or is it fine now? As you could tell, the account's fine now. Almost as if nothing even happened. But it was not easy getting the account back up, let me tell you. And I wanted to make this video to sort of help explain, you know, what's been going on, how I got it back up, and what you can do to fix this should, Lord forbid, this happens to any one of you. So what exactly happened? Well, earlier this week, around sometime in the morning, I noticed I got an email on my phone that my Google account password had been changed. Now, I'm pretty sure all of you know that YouTube is owned by Google, so the fact that I got one of those emails is kind of jarring. However, I also get a lot of spam emails, so at first I just sort of disregarded it. But then I noticed more emails started coming in, such as my two-factor authentication methods were changed, and all this type of stuff. And I was like, okay, just to be safe, let me just pop up YouTube real quick. As soon as I pull up YouTube, I noticed I was signed out. It's a bit odd because I usually keep myself signed in. So I go to sign in, and I noticed uh, it didn't even recognize uh, what email address that I was using. Like That's a bit odd. So I entered in my email address and then my password, and it said, your password was changed a couple hours ago. I was like, oh, okay, that's odd. So I figured, okay. Maybe someone tried to get my account, they messed up, and then the account's locked out, so I have to change the password. No big deal, right? So I hit Forgot Password. However, what's interesting about this is after I clicked Forgot Password, rather than go through the standard two-step verification steps that I'm accustomed to, it was asking me for, like, this security USB fob. You know, like, one of those USB type flash drives that you plug in to your PC and it has like a security key like digitally installed on it. Of course, I didn't have those. So I hit cancel and I hit try another way. The other way was asking me if I had like a specific eight digit code, like a security code to put in. I had no idea what that was, so obviously I didn't have that. I hit try again, try another way to reset my password. And this time it said it sent a recovery password email to the same account that I was trying to get into. But I couldn't get into that account. So how was I going to get into that email to reset my password if I couldn't get into that email account? So basically at this point, I'm screwed. I can't get into my YouTube account and there's no way for me to really reset the password and get into it. And I look up my channel on YouTube and sure enough, it wasn't there. And when I plugged in the URL, it redirected me to some completely different channel. Basically what happened was they removed all of the content on my channel. I'm talking not just my profile picture and whatnot, but I mean they removed all my videos, playlists, posts. It was all gone. And at this point, I was freaking the fuck out. Because I spent pretty much 15 years on this channel. I think this sounds super cringy, but it's true. This channel is a part of me. It's like a part of my identity. And having it just be gone in an instant like that was absolutely crushing. So I'm freaking the hell out, not sure what to do. And I look up online frantically trying to figure out, you know, has this happened to anyone else? How can I get back in? After reading numerous posts, going on various forums, reading a bunch of articles, the gist of it was people were saying you have to make sure you reset your password before they change the recovery email and before they change the two-step fact for authorization methods. Unfortunately, this all happened pretty much right away and I had no time to do any of that. And from everything that I was seeing, it was pretty much too late that if your two-step authentication methods are changed, you're fucked. You can't get back into your Google account and you just have to create a new one. And I knew there was absolutely no way I was going to do that because I spent way too much time and effort on this channel having to redo everything, having so much of my content just gone. 
you know, I didn't want to think about that because it sounded so stressful. So at this point, I was, I couldn't think, I, I couldn't sleep, freaking out, having an anxiety attack. So I was running out of options. I mean, there's not really a way you can just call Google up, you know, like they don't have a customer service phone number that you can just call and say, hey, my account's been hacked, can you help me? So that's not really a thing. They don't have like a live chat feature either. So there's no way for you to really talk to a person live. So running out of options, I was super desperate at this point. So what would I do? Well, here's what I did to get my account back. Thankfully, on my Twitter account, I posted a tweet and I first uh, tagged the official Google account. I said, hey, you know, this has been happening. My account's been hacked. Can you help me? And they sent me the standard jargon. Like, have you tried resetting your password? This and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I've already tried these things. Otherwise, why would I be contacting you? So they just sent me a generic link with just generic steps to try to get back into your account. And then as I explained previously, that wasn't going to happen because... I was already locked out of my account. There's no way for me to get back into it. So at this point, you know, I asked them, what else can I do? They didn't respond. So I was really running out of options at this point, And I was really, really freaking out to the point where it was, it was not even funny. Like I thought everything I had built was gone. So frantically, what I decided to do next was contact YouTube support directly. Now, YouTube support on Twitter is at Team YouTube. And when I first tweeted at them, I didn't get a response for a while. So what I did was I contacted everybody I knew that had a Twitter account, including you guys. And this is where you guys came in. And I thank you so much for this. When I asked all of you to sort of share the tweet that I created to just tag team youtube and share my tweet like there's no tomorrow make sure they're aware of what's been going on and to contact me as soon as possible and after you guys did that and a bunch of people that i know did that in virtually no time at all they did contact me they messaged me directly and after getting some details from me they sent me this form to fill out now this form actually some of the questions were pretty tricky and you can't get this form normally. You can't just, you know, search online for this form if your account gets hacked. It's something you have to ask for. So this is the route you're supposed to go, which is contact YouTube directly. And then they, if they, after they ask you some questions about specific details about your account, like when was it hacked, this and that, they send you a form to fill out. Now, some of the questions on this form, like I said, are pretty tricky. One of them is your YouTube channel ID not your YouTube channel name, your YouTube channel ID, which is like this string of bunch of different characters jumbled together. So in order to get your YouTube account ID, I have a link to a video in the description. that will show you how to get that. Even if you're not signed into YouTube, there's still a way to get the account ID for your channel. Even if you can't sign into it, there's still a way to do it. And I'll have a link to that in the description. So I had that. There were a few of the questions on there. Another one I remember was, what was the name of the most recent video that you uploaded? What was its title? Which I also remembered. So for anyone that uploads videos on YouTube, I would make sure if I were you to do that, make sure you know what your channel ID is and always remember what's the title of the most recent video that you uploaded. And there were some other, you know, standard questions on there. And like, what date do you think you were hacked? You know, how long your account's been up? stuff like that. So I submitted the form after, you know, quite a while waiting, a few hours later, I get a direct message from uh, Google slash YouTube support. They asked me for an email that I did have access to. Thankfully, I have, I do have more than one email, of course. So they asked me, you know, what email do you have access to so that we can keep in contact with you, which I gave them. And they asked me some questions back and forth and Eventually, I was able to get back into my account. So what they did was they first locked the Google account. That way the hacker, myself, nobody could get into it while they were undergoing this investigation. And two, three days later, after going back and forth with support, after giving them as many details as I could, I got my account back. And thankfully, they were able to get my account back in a state where it seemed as if none of this happened. So my videos are back, playlists are back, all this stuff, it's back. 
Thank fuck. Darst bullet on that one, let me tell you. Now, people have been asking me as well, like, do you know anyone specifically that would want to come after you? And, you know, how exactly do they get into your account? I want to make it clear, I have no idea who did this. I, I have zero clue. I have no reason why anyone would want to go through the effort of hacking into my channel and going through all this. I have no idea. And how do they get into it? Again, I don't know. But, you know, it's 2023. If virtually anyone, if they have the time, capability, and drive to do it, someone will get into your account if they really want to. That's why I'm letting you guys know it's important to sort of take these, take these precautions in advance. Because no matter what you do, no matter how many security precautions you take setting up all this stuff and all these security measures, if a hacker really wants to, they will still get into your account. I mean, it sucks and it's bullshit, but that's just the world we live in. So hopefully this video will help bring to light this situation. And if, Lord forbid, any of this happens to you guys, you'll know the steps to take. So if it happens to you, don't bother going to Google support. It is a waste of time. Don't try calling anybody on the phone. You're not going to get a hold of, you know, of anyone. Don't try emailing anyone directly. Just create a social media account, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, whatever, and tag YouTube support and just let everyone that you know that, hey, my account's been hacked. I need you to, you know, also share my post and just make as much noise as possible so that they get made aware of your situation because the more people they see are contacting them about the same account that's been hacked the more seriously they take it because they see how much noise it's bringing up and a lot of this my account being back up and recovering everything is really due to you guys i mean if it weren't for you guys i don't think youtube would have really seen my tweet or even have gotten to it as fast as they did so for everyone that contributed to contacting youtube support Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Really, I genuinely mean that. You guys are the reason that I'm still here, the account's still here, and hey, it's only going to get better from here. We're not going to let this stop us. It's just some silly little pothole that was in the way of a road to greatness. So I'm not going to let this discourage me. I'm definitely going to keep uploading, and I definitely am going to make continue to make the best content for you guys that I possibly can. So again, thank you all so much. And for the person that hacked my account, I don't know if you're ever going to watch this, but if you are watching this, I don't know who you are or why you did what you did, but let me tell you, nothing is ever going to stop the Triple G community. Onwards and upwards.